Hi, I'm Robin Brooks with The Messenger. I'm at Brantley Mobile Home Park. It's pretty close to the airport here in Troy along US 231. No injuries reported, but the mobile home park has sustained extreme damage. There were folks home at the time that the tornado came through here. The firefighters were able to get them out. They are fine. We're hearing multiple reports of tornado touchdowns from the sheriff's department. I was watching over midnight. Um, everything, um, everything was laying around me for me not to be in touch. Is uh, one nothing but the uh, work of God. Did you hear it first, or did you did you feel it? What what did it sound like? Oh, it just sound like uh, oh, just a loud gust of wind. Um, my TV electricity went out first, and and. My trailer shipped and, and before you know it was it hit and it was gone. I feel like uh, if the tree hadn't land on on my trailer, my trailer probably wouldn't have been there. As you can see, uh, my neighbor's trailer, he's at work tonight, but his trailer is gone. It took to pick this trailer up and took it somewhere. We, uh, I'm not we're not sure exactly what location where it is. My neighbor. Uh, she was also trapped in her mobile home. Um, I didn't realize she was she was trapped. I, she was calling out for me. I feel very blessed to be here without any injury. I'm surprised no one was injured, uh, as bad as the damage is. Uh, you, would, you would have thought that, uh, that someone would be hurt, and I'm just very grateful and, and thankful that nobody got hurt. Can you take some pictures? How are you doing now? It's about 12:20 at Brantley Mobile Home Park along US 231, very close to the airport. The uh, EMA has now brought out big lights so that you can really see the damage out this direction. You can tell that a tornado definitely came through the area. The way the trees are snapped, the EMA is saying that this is definitely a touchdown here in Troy. There are some scattered reports of uh, damage out in the Goshen area. No confirmed touchdown there. Uh, emergency crews are out here. Utility crews are working to get debris off the power lines and get things back to normal for the folks who still have homes here at Brantley Mobile Home Park. It was a quick three to four minutes. It was a lot of roar. Like you actually hear the train sound that people tell you here. And it was just like a bunch of shaking. Like somebody had turned the vibration chair on or something in the house. And I just heard it like a piece of paper rip. I didn't know it was the roof at the time. But as I felt war started drifting, I knew something had went wrong. What did you do? Nothing to me. I pulled my wife in the closet. And the room my mom was laying in, it shattered. The glass shattered. I'm surprised she ain't cut up. And she jumped, ran to the living room and jumped on top of the kids. And we just stayed there until it was all over. And I think I actually came out the back door when it was just, had just took everything off the trailer because he tried to take the door as I was trying to open the back door. Um, did, so did you know what was going on when it happened? Did you, did you know that there was bad weather in the area? Yes, I knew I had heard the sirens, but never in a million years I would have thought that I heard it. Do you guys feel lucky? Yes. Blessed. We're blessed. Truly blessed. How many folks were home at the time? You, you mentioned there were some kids here too. It was me and my wife. Her sister was down here for Christmas. And it was like seven of us in the house. Me and my wife, her sister, my mom, and her sister, three kids, my three nieces, and my two boys. Do you guys have a place to go? Or you... Yes, we have friends and family that okay. we can go to, thank God.
This shook all this loose. That's the. That's where my mom was laying. In my son's room. Wow. Blew the glass out of it. All of this is busted up. It shook all of it up loose. See the roof up there, the ceiling collapsed. See the limbs, the pine trees. When we left Brantley Mobile Home Park on 231 in Troy, we heard that there was some damage out in the Goshen area. So we came down County Road 2214, met up with a family um, who survived, but they encountered either a tornado or straight line winds came through and took the top off of their trailer. And another gentleman next door lost his workshop, but everyone there seems to be okay. Um, we heard from Sheriff Russell Thomas that there was a, a mobile home here that you can see. from a wooded area nearby and was taken to the hospital for treatment of minor injuries.